Hello my love, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube. I'm Jess, if we're meeting for the first time, thank you so much for hanging out with me and hanging out with me once again. If you are old friends, family to the YouTube channel and if you're brand new, welcome. So I actually set the intention that today would be a quiet day for me because there's been a lot, a lot of movement lately in my life. All good movement, but movement nonetheless. I'm a Virgo and I love when there's stillness. One of the messages that came through to me as I've been quiet today and vibing today is a tiny whisper, an actual tiny whisper. And this whisper held so much of a magnitude of a message that I was very excited to be able to share it here with you guys because I felt that for someone in particular that this would be very empowering and be delivered right on time. I feel like this week coming, whenever you're watching this video, but specifically when this week that you're approaching right now, it feels like it, there's a lot of pressure in this week, a lot of activity in this week. I feel like this week coming might be something momentous. I don't know if this is something that you have planned to happen during this week or if this is something that the divine, the universe, all things are aligning in order to make this week a week of pivotal change. I can't tell if this is something that you are initiating or something that is happening within you or stirring around you. Not entirely sure, but it feels like this week or this moment is impactful to say the least. As I sat with that energy, I had this sense of dread or doom, but as I sat with that feeling a little more, I felt that this dread or this doom was more about the pressure, the responsibility or of, that happens when someone needs to rise up in order to make something amazing happen or it's just in their time. It's in that time space within their life where something amazing has to happen or is happening. Spirit whispered into my ear and into my spirit, speak up, speak up, speak up. And the more that I felt, the more that I sat with that word and kind of felt it out, the more that I, the, the, the fact that it came through as a whisper felt more significant. It felt like if there's something that you need to say this week or in this moment, to say it, even if you have to say it in a very light whisper, even if it's so hard for you to say, or even if it's something that you know can change the course of your life as you know it, to speak up, to state it, to say what you have to say. I also felt that this will be a, um, a very important message for someone who has dealt with trauma or dealt with really unique situations that it's difficult for them to speak about the history. It's difficult for them to speak about the past or what they've experienced, what they've lived through, but the divine, your angels, your guide, your ancestors are going to rally around you, support you, and encourage you to speak up regardless, to power past the difficulty, even if you whisper through this session or even if you whisper through this time that is that you have to say, or speak your truth. The divine really wants to encourage you through this and says that this is not for other people. This is for you, for you expressing your truth, for you advocating for yourself. And I also get this message that sometimes when we advocate for ourselves that, or we have to battle or show up as warriors, it's not fair that that's the energy. It's not fair that that's required of us. And there's a lot of grace and kindness and softness that comes with that to help support you in the event that you do decide to speak up and now, share. The second your part to this message that I had no intention of sharing because I didn't even receive it, but as I'm trying to get this message to you guys, when I tell you there are so many distractions, so many distractions, and I decided, no, I'm going to get this message out and I'm not going to allow anything to stop me from sharing this message with you guys today. And I feel like that in itself is a message because it's it's reminding you that regardless of what tries to stop you, distract you, um, pull you away, even if it's a sweet distraction, even if it's a good distraction, it's a distraction nonetheless. And it's very important for you to, wherever this is, stop putting it off. 
Stop putting it off. If this has to do with your healing, it's so important that you share this part of your journey. It's so important that you share your truth. If this has to do with you talking about your feelings when someone asks you if you're okay and you don't feel like you're okay and you just always, they expect you to say yes, this is an amazing opportunity now for you to say, no, I'm not okay. Like, now what? You know, and what, what happens then if you, whatever it is that you need to speak out, whatever it is that you need to be clear on, that you need to be direct on, even if it's a light, I don't know why, but spirit keeps coming through and saying like, even if it comes through as a whisper, even if the best thing you can do is to whisper it out, to say it and to at least allow it to be heard. I feel like this will create again, a, a major change in this week to come that can change the course of your life forever in such a healing and empower, empowering and powerful way that the divine doesn't want you to miss out on this. And it can only come, I don't know what it is, but it can only come from you voicing your opinion, from you stating, stating your opinion. I also had a second message earlier today, what actually came through during Bahati Love Notes, and I'm gonna share that with you guys now. Franklin's a little distracting. He's here today, really wanting all the huggies and kissies per usual. Um, so I'm gonna go give him some hugs and give him a snacky to distract him in the meantime, and then I'll get the second message out for you guys. All right, so I'm sending you all my love. I hope that you're well, and I'll talk to you in my next video or at some time in the near future. future. Bye.